So g'day, and how are you going? And in today's video, well, we're just talking about these standard circulating coins that you find in your change. So here's a 20 cent coin. Hope you can see that, because I can't really see it. It doesn't show up on my screen. What I'm filming, uh, basically what we have here is the currency determinations. So you can find the scroller. Uh, you need to go to, it's quite a complex name. It's Currency Australian Coin Amendments, Royal Australian Mint Determinations, blah, 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 blah. Just put in currency determination, you'll come across it. And this is the instrument. So this has to be written for coins to be minted. If it's not on here, then it can't be minted. And they also issued M40 Perf Mint. So you can find them for what the Perf Mint's going to mint. So here you've got 2023. And up top, we have three of them for the Perf Mint. And we've got six for the Royal Australian Mint. But I, we're just talking about coin weights today. So in these it has the coin weights, so the first one has the number of the actual coin, then we have the denomination, then we have the metallic composition, so one and two dollars are copper, aluminium and nickel, and the rest are copper and nickel. Then we have the weights, we'll get to that in a minute, then we have the diameter, so that's the, so the diameter is the flat area, the length of it, the maximum length. Then we have the thickness, so you need to go to the side, that's the thickness. Then we have S1, so that's size 1. So S1 is round, S5 is a 12-sided. Edge, 3, so it's interrupted milling. Edge 2 is no milling. Edge 1 is just milling all around, not interrupted. O1, just obverse. Then we've got reverse, so it's reverse design. So obviously, reverse 27 is the platypus, coat of arms 26, 25 is the kangaroos, 24 is the aboriginal elder, 29 is the echidna, and this is just a date. So when we look at the actual coin weights, we'll start at the 5 cent. So the 5 cent has a medium weight of... No, no, go away with this crap. Okay, so it has a medium weight of 2.83 grams plus or minus 0.33 grams. So that means it could be uh, 2.5 to 3.16 grams. So 2.5, so we'll write that down somewhere if we can find a piece of paper. So, we've got 2.5 to 3.16. Okay, so that's a variant. So if a coin, 5 cent coin, is in between those two weights, it's normal. Doesn't mean it's an error coin. Okay, the 10 cent coin, we have these. So we have, so we have a variance of, yeah, five point. Okay, we need to take half a gram off that. Five point one six two. Um, God, this is doing my head in. Six point one four. So that's the tolerance. Okay, the twenty cent is. Gee, please. Just shoot me now. Should be 10.52 to 12.08. .12 so that's a pretty big variance. The 50 cent, obviously nearly a gram. So it should be 14.59 16.51 Okay, the one dollar should be 8.34 to 9.66 That was a bit easier 
Andy, well, the two dollar is six grams to seven point two grams. Okay, so that's a pretty big variance. So if we look at the actual variance, you can see that there is, I hope this shows up. So that's a variance of the toleration that you can see there. So you're not going to get, no, where is it? There you go. You're not going to get a $2 coin exactly 6.6 .6 grams. It's going to have some variance. And the same with the rest. And if we look at the other commemorative coins, so we have gold here. They also have a variance. Obviously, that needs to be less because it's nearly 100% gold. So they, they want the tolerance to be less. Or else they're going to lose gold because they're going to put too much gold in it. Or they're going to cheat you out of gold. And with the base metal, it doesn't really matter about that because the value of the metal here is way less than the face value of the actual coin. So then we have, yeah, got some more $1. So 50 cents, so this is the same color as, so this is the yellow one, obviously variants are there. Uh, got some more gold, any silver. Uh, here we have silver is also smaller tolerance. Okay, obviously, look at this, depends on the weight, the tolerance will vary. So the smaller the weight, the smaller the tolerance. The bigger the weight, the bigger the tolerance. Obviously, they're going to charge a higher premium on a coin that has a lot more silver than one that doesn't. So, then we have some more. So, when you look at these weights, you know, and the metal composition, you know it's just going to be a standard coin. doesn't matter if it's circulating or not. And, uh, yeah, so that's basically it. So if you get any of these coins from circulation and you think like, oh no, you got a 50 cent coin that's 15 grams, yeah, that's normal. It's not an error coin unless there is something wrong with the planchet. So if it goes below, you know, the 50 cent coin, if it goes below 14.6 grams, uh, like if it's like 14 or 13 and a half, then you know it's probably... Could be on a different planchet, but because that's a big coin, it's highly unlikely it's going to happen. It's more likely to happen to uh, these coins. So if you've got a 10 cent coin, it's on a uh, five grams or even four and a half, then more than likely it's, it's on a different planchet. And if it's a biometal coin, yeah, well, obviously you know it's an error coin. Anyway, hope this helps you with your coin collecting. Have awesome coin collecting time, and yeah, thank you very much. And take care.